Hi everybody, this is David. Uh, taking a break from the nerfing and gaming for a minute, I just wanted to give a little tutorial on the Excel file that we use at work. And essentially what it does is kind of keeps track of the kids' balances, like how many days they've paid for and how many days they've attended and kind of just subtracts it out and shows it shows a total on this sign-in sheet which we print out every day. Um, so I guess the main thing is the daily tally sheet where we enter their card number if they attend and this runs a macro which searches for this date along this row essentially a calendar and wherever it finds it it copies this information and it will paste it into the corresponding column and similarly it'll take whoever has gotten a new card or if they owe a late fee search for the date on this sheet and just simply paste it into the column there so demonstrating these have been copied onto this row just to all the zero one and so forth no cards were entered so there was no data copied but you can still see where it's selected the column all right so that's the basic idea um, at this point I'm going to do a more thorough walkthrough so we have our daily tally sheet which is used for entering data who attended and who paid and this data is sent to the corresponding attendance and card update sheets which are responsible for totaling and keeping track of all attendance and payments and finally these totals are referenced on the sign-in sheet in order to display the remaining balances so this first sheet is uh, what we print out each day to sign the children in, out, place for the parents to sign, whether they can walk home, any comments, and number of days remaining. Now the formula for this actually takes total days bought, total days attended, which right now is just one, subtracts them, with an extra day. Now that's because <clears throat> we're printing this out for tomorrow. We want it to show how many days the child would have if they came. So if they if they attend tomorrow, they would have three days, even though they've actually only used one of their five days. So there are a couple macros on this page simply to allow for adding new names, and deleting students. Uh, for example, let's say that Morgan Freeman has signed up. Okay, now you notice that he's not automatically added. We have to go into sort names, which copies him to all the other sheets and also alphabetizes the existing entries so that he's not stuck at the bottom. Notice that he doesn't have any days because he has not purchased any cards. He has no balance as of right now. But obviously we could give him four there and it would reflect on the first page. We could give him 200 and it would show him as having 199. <clears throat> and then this is just another macro to organize the deletion process across um, all four sheets. So basically, uh, say that Selena Gomez hasn't been attending, we would just select her name from the drop down list and hit delete. And you can see she is removed from all four sheets. And then you would just sort to remove her gap. Um, we'll move on to daily tally. This is where we enter all of our information every day. Snack is simply a running 
total up here. This is simply a total of cards. How many kids were there today? And again, if they bought a new card, we'd put it there. And just, yeah, and that's that. Um, so the, the date up here is very important because that's what it searches for along here. So there is a safety involved where if it finds data already in that column, it'll let the user know and ask whether they want to copy over it with the new data or leave it as is, so we'll say no. On the attendance sheet, you can see that it totals up how many kids were there each day. And this is just a calendar like I showed before that stretches on. Now over here, I have hidden, what's that under? This is simply tallying total days attended for each child. It doesn't check card numbers or anything, so you could say she used a different card. It doesn't care, it just counts up how many days has she attended. And again, that's to reference back at the first sheet for our subtraction. Um, in kind of the same way, the card updates sheet also has a hidden column which tallies up number of days each child has purchased in the history of forever, totaling it so that it can be subtracted on this first page or added, you know, tallied out on the first page. Um, and that is essentially it. So I will go ahead and look at the macros for anybody that's interested in seeing what's going on behind the scenes. And I probably won't talk over this part. You can just kind of read through it on your own. I think that's all just three. Yeah, there's only three. So yeah, that's all I have here. Let me know in the comments if you think you might be able to use part of it. I'll try to answer any questions anybody might have. And uh, otherwise, thanks again for watching and take care.